matter really, because whoever wins the free are going to win on the night. Well, they can't beat the second mark. Can they possibly beat the French on the first mark? It's very unlikely, and you can hardly think it's so noisy here. From Milan, not far away, a couple who've never been on the podium before in world championships and here have a chance of gold. Barbara Fusapoli, Maurizio Magaglio with Lord of the Dance. for a moment that these two will have been phased by what they've seen and heard. step sequence too many on their feet this time but I think the enjoyment factor for the non-partisans was just as great and so so good to see that they didn't buckle under what was such an intense atmosphere 
fabulous performance from Barbara Fusapoli, Maurizio Magalio. And I guess, Chris, I don't know about you, I'm one of the few people here who doesn't care who wins now. I don't think they've got it, but it, part of me would love them to get it. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you what, they skated that with all the aggression, all the fight, determination of a true champion. You know, they went out there when they know that probably 8,000 people here are against them and uh, didn't let it affect them. They had to cope with the pressure, the noise, the commotion. They did it so well. I'd never have imagined a few years ago when they were struggling ninth and 10th in the world that here, so late on in their careers, they would be on the verge, and they are on the verge of a world title. But Tatiana Tarasova has transformed them. She has. The program is fantastic. It's so difficult. The footwork is great. And I have to say, you know, you, you probably can't get this from watching it on the TV, but it was faster than the French. Yeah. It was definitely faster across the ice. Although the French, their program is very dramatic, and the, uh, the feeling and the uh, atmosphere the whole package from the French, you know, the judges are going to be swayed. They're only human, aren't they, at the end of the day? If this championship was taking place in Italy, I just wonder if it would be a different yeah, story. I, I, absolutely. Just looking at the marks that the French got, four perfect sixes, the rest 5.9s for presentation. They are not going to be better. There's just a chink of light in the first mark, but I don't think it's going to be about the same for the first mark. And not as good for the second. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I'm sure you're right. But boy, what a competition. Yeah, and our hats go off to them and our thanks go out to them for making it so good. And well, we talked earlier on about the men who shown for the first time this year, haven't they, Pushenko and Jagger, a little bit of fallibility. We thought they were inhuman. Well, these two couples are almost inhuman the way they cope with the pressure this year. Now they're only the marks. The marks. No, it's not to be. The first mark is very good. It's around about the same. But I think they know they're going to have to settle for second place because the second mark, and I can see it right down below me now on the computer, there are no sixes. There are some five nines. But these two will have to settle for second place. Who knows what next year might bring in Vancouver. They won't have to deal with 10,000 French people. And the screens are a relief from the people around us who enjoyed that program but know that it wasn't good enough to take the gold. But Barbara Fusso-Poli and Maurizio Magalio for sure have taken the silver.